Hi there. Not too long ago, I cooked a whole chicken in a cast iron Dutch oven at 500 degrees, and the result was one of the best roast chickens I'd ever had. And since then, I'd wondered if you could do the same thing with a full-size turkey. With turkey being so inexpensive around Thanksgiving, I picked up a 13-pound turkey for less than $5. And now we can experiment and see what it's like to blast a whole turkey at 500 degrees in a cast iron Dutch oven. Of course, you need a really big iron pot to cook a whole turkey. This is a four gallon sized Bayou Classic Dutch oven, bigger than anything made by Lodge. And you can still get a bigger Dutch oven than this if you need one but this is certainly big enough for here. It weighs 35 pounds, and in fact, it may be too heavy for your typical oven rack. So a few years ago, I made these heavy duty stands from gas pipe. And with these and this huge pot, we'll be cooking a 13 pound turkey at 500 degrees to see how it turns out. These pipe stands are being used so the oven rack doesn't collapse under the weight of 50 pounds of cast iron and turkey. It's a challenge to put this empty pot in the oven by itself. And now we heat the oven to 500 degrees while we prepare the turkey. We're using a simple rub for the turkey by mixing together kosher salt, pepper, smoked paprika, garlic powder, and onion powder. The turkey is already thawed out and we dry it off with paper towels. Then we fold back the wings to keep them from burning while they roast. And we rub the rub over every bit of the turkey, including some inside the cavity. We're not stuffing the turkey to be sure it cooks as fast as possible. Needless to say, this huge iron pot is smoking hot, so be very careful to keep from burning yourself. We also add the giblets to the pot so they can cook and help with the gravy. Then we cover the pot and roast it at 500 degrees for 55 minutes. With five minutes to go, we remove the lid to help crisp the skin. I'll admit I was very surprised when the turkey came out of the oven. Even at 500 degrees, it was only cooking for an hour, and yet it still ended up like this. However, the temperature of the bird really wasn't so bad. Even that's not out of the question. It was a little more than I'd hoped for, but still not too bad. And so we moved the turkey to a platter and covered it with foil to rest while we prepared the gravy. One of the best things about making a turkey in cast iron is we can use the same pan to prepare the gravy. All we do is add some flour and stir it into a thick roux. Then we add broth, or in this case bouillon, and stir it and thin it out until we have a good gravy. We season it with salt and pepper, and then strain it. And the gravy is ready to be served on our turkey. And here was the best surprise of all. Even though the turkey looked dried out, cooking it in a covered pot had kept the juices in the meat. And even though the outside looked overdone, the inside was very tender and moist and not dried out at all.
The bones were very easy to separate from the body. We topped it off with some of the gravy and we helped ourselves to a turkey roasted in only an hour. I'll be the first to agree that roasting this turkey at 500 degrees didn't produce the best results, but the turkey was hardly a failure. It still turned out very tasty and juicy, and I wouldn't have a problem serving this turkey to anyone. Slow roasting a turkey is still the best way to cook it, but if you have an extra turkey like this one was, and you don't want to spend two full days brining and slow cooking your bird, this is still a fun way to cook a turkey really fast. I hope you've enjoyed this little experiment, and thank you for watching.